if you haven't been in the loop with GTA 6 over the past year, we actually know a lot more about the game than you may think. So let's get you up to speed. This is absolutely everything we know about GTA 6. Let's talk about the engine. The Euphoria physics have been tweaked and the ragdoll physics and overall physics of the game are going to be improved from GTA 5. The lighting and the skybox systems from Red Dead Redemption 2 can be seen in GTA 6. So things like volumetric clouds, better lighting, it's all going to be a massive step up and even a bit of a step up from Red Dead 2. Also in the leaks we saw heavy fog, which we didn't really see in GTA 5 except for maybe when it's snowing, but advanced weather systems are going to be a lot more present in GTA 6. We already know of quite a few characters that are going to be in GTA 6. Of course, we know the two main characters are Jason and Lucia, but in the leaks, these fans have also found a lot of other characters' names. First off, we know there's going to be a character named Dre, D-R-E, and no, that's not Dr. Dre, this is a separate character. There'll be a character named Sam, who is a friend of Dre. There's also a character named Kai, Wyman, Billy, Tit, yes, literally, the, the name is Tit, Zach, R.B. Shaw, and we also see other characters mentioned named Vicky, Iris, Shanice, Booby, and YJ. It's honestly quite crazy that we have these details, but we know the height of the characters in the game. So Lucia is five foot three and Jason is going to be six foot one. We also know of the name of three different gangs that will be in Vice City. San for San, which is a Haitian gang. We've got the Guardia Brothers and the Far Right Militia. We also know of a bunch of different items and tools. We have the Auto Dialer, Binoculars, Immobilizer Bypass, a Cutoff Tool, Painkillers, Pool Cue, Trauma Kits, Golf Driver, Food and Drink, a Golf Putter, USB Drive, a Golf Iron, a Crowbar, a Golf Wedge, Torch, Slim Jim, Tracker Jammer, Duffel Bag for your loot, cigarettes and a backpack, again, for your loot. We also have a list of confirmed weapons, a rocket launcher, an assault rifle, baseball bat, polymer pistol, knife, bolt action sniper, a molotov, a spear gun, which is interesting, smoke grenade, compact SMG, a flashbang, a micro SMG, hunter sniper, heavy machine gun, auto rifle, and a pump action shotgun. The weapon wheel will be split up into three sections, weapons, equipment, and gear. Very similar to Red Dead Redemption 2 where you had your weapons, items, and horse. In one clip we see that you can hold different weapons in each hand and there's an additional quick item inventory in the bottom left. On your screen now you can see what are recreations of the weapon wheels that we saw in the GTA 6 leaks. And you can see that already there are different weapon wheels as the game got further along in development. It's tough to say which exact weapon wheel we're going to get when the game launches. It'll probably even change slightly from the ones you're seeing here. In one video, you can see an NPC shooting at Jason, and right after Jason was low on health, a tip appeared on the left side of the screen that said, you are injured, your health will regen slowly, open your weapon wheel and use a recovery item to replenish your health faster. So in GTA 5, of course, you only regen health up to 50% health. From there, you have to eat snacks and that will heal you fully. It looks like maybe in GTA 6, you will actually recover to full health without any healing, but it'll just be really, really slow. That's not really confirmed, but that's kind of what the wording makes it sound like. And it sounds like if you want to heal faster, then you'll use a med item. We have seven confirmed open world activities. Currently we have dice, golf, fishing, and races. We also have a van shipment, and in one of the videos you can see the spawning place of a delivery van event, and this is near the industrial area of Port Gellhorn. On one of the garages in this zone you can see a warning poster about security cameras being operated in this area, so you'll probably need to be careful to not get spotted while you're trying to rob the van. Robberies. This should not really come as a surprise. If you saw the leaks, the video clip that probably stood out to you was the Hank's Waffles robbery. That was pretty impressive. Basically Jason and Lucia went in and robbed this massive diner. In one of these other clips where Jason was going into robber store, we also can see that he has an ability that lets him sort of see through walls. 
The leaks here also say that there are also events for finding something or nothing in vehicle trunks. So it looks like you'll be able to search vehicle trunks. The final event we have confirmed are deliveries. It says there are also events for Port Gellhorn called Delivery or Pickup Warehouse. Kind of hard to say what that's going to be like exactly, but that's all the info we have. As for enterable buildings, there will be a lot more enterable buildings in GTA 6, and the ones that we have confirmed are here. The Malibu Club, a pawn shop, a Jack of Hearts strip club, supermarkets, bars, restaurants, apartments, and laundries. Let's talk about multiplayer. We did see one multiplayer clip in the GTA 6 leaked files. And on the bottom left of the screen, it said PL2 of 32. So the players, there were two players in the lobby out of 32 possible slots. This is the same as Red Dead Online and GTA Online. It says 32, but the player cap is actually 30. And then there's two additional spots for spectators. While I personally hope that we will get bigger lobbies in GTA 6, at least in this testing phase, they were only testing out for 30 player lobbies. Let's talk about collectibles. Wyman Car Parts. In one of the clips with Lucia, you see one of the devs placing a cardboard box on the ground. This box seems to have a circle icon on it, indicating that these boxes are lootable. The debug text on this box said collectibles underscore car underscore parts. So it looks like these will be car part collectibles. But another thing that you can see written there is Wyman Car Parts boxed generic used, which people are speculating may mean you can collect car parts for Wyman. They go on to say here, here that it seems as though both Jason and this character called Wyman will have a mutual interest in classic cars. Collectible hats. In a video where Jason is in an apartment, the hat the developer is playing with is a collectible apparently. This is shown with the debug text stating that it is an ambient collectible hat. This suggests that one of the ambient features in the game will be to gather articles of clothing. And that's pretty interesting, honestly. We then have a compiled list of every single brand that's in the game. I'm not gonna read these out, instead I'm just gonna put all of them on your screen right now. Because while I'm sure a lot of these will be important to the story, a lot of them won't be, and I don't want to read off a massive list of brands that you won't even remember. So here they all are on your screen now. Pause the video if you want to look at them. Next, we have a list of every single confirmed animal in the game. So we're going to have snakes, seagulls, skunks, raccoons, alligators, boars, wading birds, squirrels, southern leopard frogs, crayfish, lizards, skunk apes, pigeons, opossums and whales. Keep in mind those are the only confirmed animals. Good chance is we will see a lot more when the game actually releases. These are just the only ones we know of right now. We've also discovered a lot of new mechanics. So here's a list of all of the new mechanics. You'll be able to walk while in cover. You'll be able to go prone which is awesome. Finally in GTA we can lay down. You'll have loot bags to store additional loot. You'll be able to drop and pick up weapons. There's a new under fire animation where your character covers their face while they're getting shot at. You'll have the option to revive yourself after a heavy hit. You'll be able to switch shoulders while you're aiming down sights, which is awesome. You can grapple during fist fights. There'll be buddy comms and a buddy ping system. So this is interesting. I'd assume this will be a shared ping between Jason and Lucia. We'll have to wait and see though. There'll be a new cover mode. The way you shoot out of car windows is completely changed. Your character will completely hop out of the window so you can shoot in a full 360. There'll be a new eagle eye system. This is most likely only Jason's ability because that's all we saw where Jason could sort of see through walls. Not sure if Lucia will also be able to do this. You'll be able to interact with more objects and people, so things like carrying bodies, robbing, threatening, and talking to NPCs during robberies. And you'll be able to pick up more items like beer bottles and cans. Let's talk about new gameplay systems, and a lot of these are very exciting, including the first one, which is money laundering. During the Hank's Waffles robbery, there is an icon that's tracked to the car wash property. This icon is a washing machine with a dollar sign in the middle, which essentially is confirmed to mean money laundering. This suggests that properties can be purchased with the intent of laundering money. So while we don't have any info on exactly what that's going to look like, it does look like in single player you will again be able to purchase certain types of businesses for illegal activity. Fences are in the game, and no, I'm not talking about a fence that you jump over or drive through, we're talking about a fence in terms of the illegal kind. 
Essentially, a fence is someone you'll give an illegal item to and then they'll buy it off you and then they'll sell it to someone else. Hacking will be in the game to some extent as Lucia carries around a tracker jammer, immobilizer bypass, a USB drive and an auto dialer. It's unconfirmed if Jason will also be able to have these items as for right now, we've only seen Lucia with them. And earlier leaks from a couple of years ago did indicate that Lucia was going to be the hacker. So we'll have to wait and see with that one. Pragmatic, cool or chaotic and romantic, cool or chaotic are different types of events that are mentioned in the events list. You'll also be able to make commands of the other character during a robbery. So in the robbery video that we saw from the leaks, a tip pops up which tells you to check in with Jason or hold for more options. This likely means that you can give your partner commands during a robbery since you can also see a prompt to tell Jason to surrender as well as tell him to follow you. So it looks like you'll be able to kind of somewhat control two characters at once, which should make it a lot easier instead of having to rely on an AI. The witness system and police recognition. This one's pretty big. So in the Hank's Waffle robbery video, you can see under the wanted level stars, the words full description, which implies that the witnesses have a full description of you which likely means that police will recognize you. Once Lucia enters the police vehicle, you can see no vehicle description written, which quickly changes to full vehicle description. This suggests that the police will have a full description of your vehicle. After that, more text pops up saying any vehicle you are seen entering will be known to the law. So what this probably means is even after you lose your wanted level, if the police see you again in that vehicle, they're gonna pull you over and arrest you or, you know, try and kill you. Also during the robbery, Jason is seen trying to prevent the customers that have a yellow icon above their head from either calling the cops or running away. You can also see a female NPC inside the diner with a yellow icon above her head. And right after Lucia leaves the diner, her icon begins to flicker. And then after Lucia gets close to the police car surrounded by the cops, the icon then turns red. Then this woman leaves the diner and looks at Lucia before running away. So safe to say the NPC systems are going to be a lot more advanced. This is very impressive. Sharing items. Jason and Lucia look like they'll be able to share items between them. For example, one clip shows Jason stealing items from containers and he keeps certain items while sharing others. Unlocking doors and gates. In one of the videos with Jason in the San for San area, which if you remember, San for San is the name of a gang in GTA 6. In this clip where Jason sneaks in front of a red truck, you can see a door from an import garage building, which in its debug text says door panel locked. However, there is a gate in the same clip that says door unlocked. So you're gonna have to unlock certain doors and gates. Next, we get two full pages of new features. First up is an improved AI system. In one of the videos, you can see the enemy AI shooting Lucia when she turns around. So AI are gonna be a bit smarter in terms of deciding when to shoot you. This AI also changes their height depending on the height of the object in front of them. So I hope they're not gonna try and head glitch you. That would really suck. But also just other smart stuff like lowering their position when they're reloading the weapon instead of just reloading out in the open. They're also gonna strafe left to right when they're shooting you, there will also be improved NPC behavior. As seen in the leaks, a lot of AI no longer walk around as single pedestrians, but actually travel as groups. This is a feature that was in Red Dead Redemption 2, and you can see this in one video where you see Lucia with a duffel bag on a sidewalk, and three men in tourist attire walk past her while talking to each other. So this is cool because in GTA 5, all of the pedestrians walking down the street are just walking by themselves. But now there's gonna be groups of people, different friendship groups, maybe even couples walking down on the side of the street. Pretty cool. You'll now be able to surrender to the police during a robbery. So that's interesting. I wonder what the consequences for that are gonna be. We'll have to wait and see. You can now buy gumballs from gumball machines. I'm assuming this is gonna heal you, but again, we'll have to wait and see. Just like GTA 5, your character's clothes will become dirty. In terms of the hair and facial hair systems, there are various versions of Jason visible in the leaks. Sometimes he has long hair, sometimes short hair, sometimes stubble, and sometimes he's clean shaven. While this isn't necessarily confirmed, we're taking an educated guess here. 
This suggests a hair growth system like in Red Dead Redemption 2. And I mean, this is all but confirmed, right? If it was in Red Dead Redemption 2, it's pretty much certainly going to be in GTA 6, especially considering we see different hair lengths throughout these clips. Eating and drinking from your inventory when Jason is at the gas station, one wine, soda, and fruit can be seen added into the inventory, which means you can eat or drink from your inventory at any time, just like in Red Dead and GTA Online. There's a new type of event called a cop trap. This is set up in a bunch of locations. The confirmed locations are on your screen now. But yes, it looks like police will set up different traps to try and catch you out. There's a new police system that's called time until cops dispatch. So when you commit a crime now, it doesn't look like the police will just instantly show up. You will have a little bit of time to make a getaway before cops start coming for you. Security cameras will spot you, but it'll be a bit different to how they work in GTA Online there will be a detection meter. The best way I can describe this is something like in Payday, if anyone's played Payday 2 or Payday 3, how a bar sort of fills up and you need to get out of the camera's line of sight within that time frame or else you're going to get spotted. You'll have the ability to restrain NPCs. The only confirmed way that we have to do this at the moment from what we've seen in the leaks is with zip ties, but you will be able to zip tie NPCs during robberies. You'll be able to loot vehicles in the Hank's Waffles video. For a split second, you can see on the bottom right of your screen a button that says examine SUV. So you have a chance to examine random cars and possibly rob them. There will be an advanced hijacking cars system. For example, the existence of the immobilizer bypass, which we spoke about earlier, this implies that stealing a luxury car will be harder, and as we saw earlier as well, the existence of an item called a Slim Jim will be used to unlock older cars. So it seems like hijacking cars will be harder, and there are events referencing the possibility of even failing to steal a car. So we've seen three things here, steal car full, steal car in progress, and steal car fail. So now, maybe you might actually fail to steal a car. That would be pretty embarrassing. There's also two additional events, which are very interesting, called Carjacking-Cat and Carjacking-Advanced AI. GTA 6 will have improved vehicle damage and handling. This is pretty obvious, of course, but in one of the clips where Lucia's driving away from the cops, car crashes are more impactful with more parts like the front fender splitting apart and the hood of the car bending more realistically. Car interiors now have a working GPS and waypoint system in the dashboard while driving in first person. That's pretty cool. And you'll also now have the option to enter a car in the passenger seat instead of automatically jumping into the driver's seat. So again, pretty cool. It's no surprise that GTA 6 will have an insane amount of detail and we have an entire page dedicated to the attention to detail. You'll be able to find raccoons rummaging through trash cans and even stealing food bags. This is seen in the files where we have three world events called raccoon climb out of garbage, raccoon rummage trash, and raccoon steal food bag. There are way too many tiny bits of attention to detail here to mention, but if this sort of thing is really interesting to you, again, I've left a link to this in the description below. So check these out. These are on page 19 and 20 if you want to look at all of these. Sound. To no one's surprise, sound is going to be a lot more realistic in GTA 6. Things like weapon sounds are a lot crisper and more realistic. They're also going to be a lot louder. Things like bodies hitting the floor as well are going to have a bit more of a thud and just sound a lot more impactful. Police sirens are going to echo off buildings and different things in the environment a lot more realistically. And items are going to sound different depending on what stuff is around you. So if you're in a shipping container, things are going to echo a bit more, have a bit more reverb and all in all just try and emulate real life a bit more. Interesting events. A few months ago we got a massive leaked list of all of the possible world encounters. These are just random events that will happen as you're walking throughout the world. So I'm going to put these on your screen now. I won't read out all of them. But as you can see, some of these are very, very interesting. Things like a parking dispute, a donut burnout, protests, someone getting a concussion. I genuinely can't tell you how excited I am just to walk around the world of Vice City. It looks like it's going to be so realistic and there's always going to be stuff going on. So pause the video if you need to look at all of these. I would recommend it. These are very, very impressive. Next, we get a massive list of every vehicle that was confirmed to be in GTA 6 that we saw both in the files and in the game in these leaks. I read all of these off in the last video where I covered GTA 6. I'm not going to read them all off again, but again, just like the interesting 
amazing events. I'll leave them all on your screen now so you can have a look at them. And if you do want to look at these in the document yourself, these are on page 30. We have a bunch of confirmed locations in Vice City and the surrounding areas. So of course, Vice City being the main one, but within Vice City, we'll have a location based on Edgewater. We're going to have North Vice City, Rock Ridge, Little Haiti, Vice Beach, South Beach, Washington Beach, Key Biscayne. We'll also have Port Gellhorn, which looks like is going to be a separate city, kind of what Sandy Shores or Polito Bay was, if you know what I mean. You have Los Santos, then you have a different city. One of those will be Port Gellhorn. We've also got Yorktown, Ambrosia, Sundown, The Keys, La Pearl, Red Hill, Lake Leonida, Hamlet, Stockyard, Homestead, Grass Rivers, Ekinfenaka, Underwater, and Relief. As you would have seen on your screen below each of those locations is also a bunch of other mini locations like within those locations. It is crazy how much detail we already have about this game. So again, pause the video, go back to that if you want to look at every individual place. Next, we have what the community is trying to make into the GTA 6 map based off all of the locations, all of the coordinates that we got in the GTA 6 leaks. This is roughly what the shape of the map is going to look like. Of course, you'll have Vice City on the bottom right there. Port Gellhorn will be on the left. And it's kind of hard to say what's going to be at the top of the map yet. We're not too sure. But this map looks absolutely incredible. And I just can't wait to jump into it. The document then finishes off with about 20 pages of places that were found in the leaks that are also in Miami. So if you want to get in and see absolutely every building, again, link is in the description below. Shout out to the amazing fans in the community who put this together. This is incredible. And this is by far the most comprehensive information we have on GTA 6 as of yet. So if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more stuff like this. Stay safe and I will see you in the next video. Boys. Favorite color, money green. Paper. I've been on my grind since I was in the 